Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. So today's tutorial is going to be on the difference between cream contouring and powder contour. Um, I personally do not really contour with creams. I find it like very pointless in my makeup routine. Um, I just contour with powders. But this video is basically going to show you guys the difference and you guys can make an opinion after it. After you watch the tutorial and you guys can basically see which technique you like the most, which one you feel like makes the most sense for you. Um, and yes, I'm gonna mention in the video plenty of times, do not take offense to this video. I am not throwing jabs at anyone who contours with cream. I'm just showing you guys the difference and letting you know what I prefer in my makeup routine. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and we shall get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is prep my skin. Prepping your skin is super important, especially if you have very dry skin or very oily skin. Um, it basically has a major factor on how your makeup will look throughout the day when you prime your face. So I'm going to prime my face. I have more of a drier skin texture. So I like to keep my skin moisturized. I know you guys ask me all the time on Instagram, how do I keep my face so smooth? And that's basically like my key. I'm just always moisturizing my face. And I'm, I'm so Puerto Rican for this, but I put Vaseline like all over my face all the time. But it works for me. To prime my face, I am using the Veil Sunset Light Primer. It's a primer and a serum and a mixing base, so it's like three things in one. Once the primer is set in, then you can start with the face as far as foundation. That's why you guys typically see me prime my face, then I work on my eyes, then I get back into my face, so that kind of gives time for the primer to set in. Um, so now I'm just gonna move on to foundation, and I'm gonna be using the AJ Crimson Artist Kit in um, Fair to Tan, and I use, here, there's there's six different colors, and he has um the artist kit comes with three versions of this, so they all have six colors, and it goes basically from lightest to darkest, which I love, and I feel like he has both like for pink undertones or yellow undertones, which I really like because it's um sometimes really tough to find a foundation like the the darker your skin tone is it's not always so simple to find a foundation so i love that he kind of looked out for all of us out there so in this palette i use both of these colors to kind of get like the perfect match for me and this is a foundation that it's very skin like so um it's buildable if you want a fuller coverage obviously you just build up on more of it and um, if you want more of a skin look, then I recommend not to set it with any powder, but if you want more of a matte look, then you definitely are going to need um, powder because it's a very creamy foundation. And I'm not wearing like basically any makeup on my eyes. I only have on a little bit of eyeshadow. I don't have eyeliner or um, fake lashes or mascara because I really want you guys to focus just on the face since this tutorial is all about the face. So next I'm going to go in with my Versali or Versali, I really, I'm not too sure how it's pronounced because there's an accent in there. Um, but it's a rose gold elixir and has 24 karat gold infused into like beauty oil, which I am obsessed with this. It gives you very, like a very natural glow. So you, if you have this, you definitely want to shake it first. So you want to do at least maybe like three to four drops of it. You can see the gold basically particles in there. And then we're just going to blend that with our foundation using a beauty blender. My beauty blender is damped. When your beauty blender's damped, you get more of a lightweight um, finish versus when it's dry. When it's dry, you get a, a fuller coverage. I'm 
Moving on to highlighting and contouring, which is basically the focus of this video. Um, highlighting, there's really no crazy technique to highlighting. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. The you know parts of your face that you want to stand out basically are the points that you're going to highlight. So I'm going to grab my With Love Sculpt Series palette by Motives. And I'm going to go in with both of these colors right here. Um, clearly you guys see I mix colors a lot because I just try to get something that looks the most natural. Something that's not too light or too dark for me. And I'm just going to grab that with a flat brush and then apply that again to the high points of my face. So let me be clear, I don't have anything against, you know, the crazy contouring and highlighting. It's fun. I mean, makeup is all about having fun, enjoying yourself. So if that is what you like, then that is what you like. But as far as, you know, realistically, if you're going to work or you need something quick, you don't have time to be doing all those crazy fun things. So I'm basically going to be doing one side cream contour, the other side is going to be powder contour. I personally, you guys could probably backtrack all of my videos, I might have maybe one video that I cream contoured in. Um, I just, for myself, I don't really like it too much for the simple reason because I find it kind of pointless because I don't understand the point of doing like a cream contour and then you set it with like a powder contour. I mean, I just, I don't know, I just try to like save time as much as I can. I have a child, so I don't have time to be going all extra with my makeup all the time. So, um, yeah, like I said, there's nothing wrong with cream contouring if that's what you like, but I'm just gonna show you guys the difference from basically the way that I do it, which is the powder, and then with the cream. And we'll just see like how different it comes out and who knows maybe I'll actually like the cream better so let's go for it again I'm still using the same with love sculpt series um, palette by motives and I'm just taking this darker color right here and um, I'm going to be applying that to like my temple area because you know my forehead is a little big and cheekbones jawline and my nose okay so now I'm going to blend everything out again with my damped beauty blender So if you're going for a very skin-like effect, then obviously this is probably the best way to go because you know when you start applying powders and stuff, it kind of takes away the more natural look of it. Um, or if you're doing it for a photo shoot or something, then you know this is like your go-to. Um, I just prefer a more of a matte finish, um, just because Florida is always so humid, and the last thing I need is to look more oily or sweaty. So I try to like matte it out as much as I possibly can. So I'm going to set my face now with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to apply this with a dry beauty blender. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face, and this is the part of cream contouring that I don't understand, I guess, for me, um, because when I, I just don't like my face to look shiny. And I, I, I'm not oily, but I just, I don't like the whole shiny look unless it's like a temporary thing for a cute picture or like a video or something. But um, for like every day, yeah, I definitely don't like my face looking shiny. So once I set my face with like a setting powder, it kind of, it either hides it or like softens the contour so then I have to recontour with powder so that's what I just like don't um, like doing I just hate feeling caked up so I really try to do like as least as I have to do 
um, to get like, you know, like a flawless finish. So I'm gonna set my face now, just like with a um, neutral setting powder. And again, I'm just setting just to kind of take away any oiliness or shininess that I may have left over from the foundation. But um, I'm not like, you know, pounding on powder and powder and powder that hides the, the contour. You guys know from like all my videos, I really don't like, I mean, I know I, it looks like I wear a lot of products, but I don't cake on the product. So I, at the end, you can still kind of somewhat see freckles. So, you know, like I'm not, going like too crazy with the coverage um, so I'm not like purposely hiding the cream contour it's just like you can I mean you could see it a little bit from you know here versus on this side I would assume I don't know if you can tell on the camera but um, now we're gonna go in with powder contour and I'm using my favorite bronzer you guys no, I legit use this in all of my videos, and it's the um, Benefit Hula Bronzer. Okay, so I, again, I have my Hula Bronzer, and I'm going to go in with my Morphe E4 brush. This is the brush that I always use when, I am, when I'm contouring my face. And now I'm going to contour this side with the powder. So this is with the powder contour. As you guys can tell, this side definitely looks more bronze than this side. So I mean, if I'm gonna contour, I obviously want the contour to be somewhat noticeable. Not in like, you know, where it looks like, oh my God, that powder is like 10 times too dark for her. But I would still like some, you know, for the cut to be basically noticeable, like the sharper cheekbones, the slimmer nose, and you know, like a sharper jawline. And I just feel like the cream contour didn't do that for me. And again, this is not attacking anyone that, you know, prefers cream contouring. I am just showing you the difference on me between cream and between the, the powder. So I'm gonna have to go back on this side with the powder just to even it out. 